Space Marines have a long and storied history in games, but the guys in the Warhammer 40k go back to the late 80s tabletop gaming. Just because your franchise has history doesn't guarantee it can move into new territory. As Warhammer 40k Space Marine is charging onto the modern console, it's clear that the game's hero, Captain Titus, has his bloody work cut out for him. <laughs> You have saved us. Rise, Guardsmen. You saved yourselves. Space Marine tells a weirdly grandiose but surprisingly coherent story that could accurately be described as both creatively rich and extremely dorky, with heavily armored supermen battling great hordes of orcs and demons with high-tech swords and hammers. The moment-to-moment -moment plot moves quickly as new objectives are secured, and the dramatic turns fit within the improbable setting. Surprisingly, the main character actually has a bit of gravity, and as familiar as some of its elements are, the story as a whole avoids coming across as generic. A Space Marine's mission is to objectively measure the situation and get the job done. To this end, Warhammer 40k Space Marine delivers a campaign of a reasonable length with a nice ramp up, as well as a few good set pieces. Some of the best moments during the mostly by the numbers campaign come from stretches of battle where you're armed with a jetpack or a hammer, giving you an exhilarating sense of power before you wade back into the steady standard combat. The game's multiplayer offers two straightforward but worthwhile modes. Annihilation is straight up team deathmatch with the first team to 41 kills declared the victor. Seize Ground has teams holding objectives and offers a better chance for the different classes to coordinate. You can head into battle as a well-rounded tactical soldier, a heavy weapons expert, or a jetpacked equipped shock troop. You'll need to level up to gain access to different loadout options and perks, which put brand new players at a slight disadvantage, but the first levels go by quickly. Moreover, whenever you're downed, you can choose to copy your killer's loadout and see how you fare with the same capabilities. Space Marine offers a somewhat limited but well-executed suite of content, with a meaty customization element making up for some of the shortfall. The addition of a cooperative mode, which is scheduled to arrive post-launch as free DLC, will certainly help make the package feel a bit more complete. You'll face many elements in the campaign, and while there is a nice variety of weaponry available, there are ultimately two ways to deal with the opposition. When they're at a distance, you fire away with various projectile weapons. When they get close, it's usually time to break out an axe, chainsword, or hammer. Because your means of recovering from damage is to perform brutal executions on enemies you've stunned with melee attacks, and because they come in such great numbers that it's often impossible to kill them all before they close distance, Space Marine essentially forces you to constantly switch between shooting and up-close butchery. You're still able to influence your playstyle by customizing your weapon loadout, though. Carrying the mighty hammer into battle, for instance, means you can't bring along the heavier ranged weapons. A lot of the fun in Space Marine comes from responding to your threats based on your need to survive, and although death can come very quickly, it feels satisfying to make it through a tough skirmish. The game also succeeds in throwing the occasional curveball. Your character takes on a much different feel whenever he's equipped with the jetpack, with the increase in mobility and power mixing things up in just the right way. New enemy types are introduced with sufficient regularity to keep the experience from going stale, and your character very noticeably increases in power as you acquire weapons and relics throughout the game. Space Marine's presentation isn't awe-inspiring, but it's effective at depicting the game's larger-than-life characters and brutal combat. While the graphics don't have quite the immaculate shine you'll find in the biggest AAA games, the game's technical performance is solid enough that the results feel like they've matched their intentions. Some environments have a workman-like simplicity, but there are some cool-looking sci-fi vistas thrown in as well. It's also easy to appreciate the serious, professional attitude of the Ultramarines as they bring the slaughter to their enemies. The somewhat silly, cockney-accented orcs aren't as convincing, and they're pretty repetitive to boot, but it's hard not to love those adorable greenskins. Despite seeming derivative and plain on the surface, Space Marine succeeds in forging its own style. The action remains enjoyable no matter how many enemies you cut down or blast away, and the other elements of the game successfully support the core experience. The game's multiplayer mode is limited to scope but well-crafted, going past a mere bullet point on the box to add some real value to the package. When measured against the best of the best in this broad category, Space Marine may not win the war, but this first skirmish counts as a solid victory. Whoa!